family, how y'all doing? You already know what time it is. How big are your problems to the most high? We're going to talk about that in just a moment. This is Michael Israel with Real TV. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back in just a minute. One. Yeah. You know, maybe one day you'll awake. Or maybe you're already awoken. But don't run away from the truth. We need the truth. Don't run away from the truth. Hang in there. Run the race all the way to the end. Run the race all the way to the end. Spending money not the only thing we need to do. Giving money to the poor is what we need to do. A lot of lies in this world, but we need the truth. I know you run or run away, but we need the truth. I know you want to run away, but we need the truth. It's like we living in the cage, living in the zoo. Why you want to run away when we need the truth? Why you want to run away when we and need just the truth? Like that, we are back again. Thank you always. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in with Real TV. It is 1.52 a.m. Eastern Standard Georgia time, Friday night, Friday the 13th. I hope your days have been safe. As I know, as we all know, the circumstances that can happen on Friday the 13th. All these superstitions, whether it's walking under a ladder, walking past the path of a black cat, um, bad luck, etc. Well, when you keep the most high first, there is no bad luck. Luck and blessings are two totally different things. When you're with the most high, it's considered a blessing. When you're in the world, use the term luck. So there is no bad luck on any day. There is no bad luck on Friday the 13th. So everything should be well with you. And I hope that all is well. Um, it feels good to be able to upload again on YouTube. As you know, YouTube has changed their algorithms and their whole sequence of things. The way they are... Um, trying to rid of those who are giving this truth. So we know that this is the type of world that we're living in. So I'm not too surprised about what's going on. Um, I was banned for two weeks on YouTube because of a video that I posted on transvestigation about, um, I mean, that's basically what it was about. It was about women who were actually being transgendered men. And it was probably one of the best shows I ever made. And it was taken down. So, um, it is what it is. With you all's help in the near future, you can... Uh, feel free to support me in giving this truth. It does take a lot of time and energy, um, which is good. But, you know, support to keep this going is always welcome. It's nothing that I'm asking, but in the near future, the goal is to have my own website. Because this whole YouTube thing, guys, we, we really know what's going down. They have YouTube Red now. YouTube Live is coming. There's a lot of shows now where you have to pay to play, basically. YouTube is becoming the new Hulu. YouTube is becoming the new Netflix. So sooner than later, they will be charging to even watch YouTube videos. You know, they slowly implemented it in. 
two ninety nine here, three ninety nine here, ninety nine cents here, you know, nine ninety nine for uh, a certain amount of time to watch live stream from your TV. So, um, these mega companies, they don't want their ads on videos that are going against their videos and their competitors and their comrades, if you will. So that's what's going on. We're living in this evil world and that's what the scripture says, you know, in the in the end times, good should be called evil and evil should be called good. We're living in a time right now where everybody is giving out this truth. There's so many people waking up. You can go on the in internet now. You could type up Mason secret handshakes and it'll pop up. You'll type in order of Eastern star information, it'll pop up. There's information about fraternities, sororities, the elite, the Illuminati, if you will, and all of these other groups that are under this major satanic un umbrella. When before, years ago, you couldn't find a dime of information. It, it was tooth and nail to get it. Now it's easily accessible at your very fingertips. So... Um, that's that about the show again, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be back up to share this information with you guys. You know, when I first started out, I never, I, I've, I, I would have never thought, I would have never thought that I would have had two followers, you know, and the thing about followers, uh, you know, I'm thankful for you all now, of course. But the thing about followers is this, YouTube is also setting it up where they're unclicking who you're following. They'll unclick who you're who you are subscribed to because of the terms and conditions and you won't even know it. it it's just set up in in all types of ways and in the very near future I may need your help to get this thing rolling. Not to uh uh, buy uh, uh, the new Jeep Wrangler Livy uh, truck, the 7.0 2018 or nothing like that, or the uh, Ronde, the Rendezvous uh, new truck or anything like that. You know, nothing crazy. I don't need a new computer. I don't need, you know, anything. It's just to get this, this movement going. And, uh, I just want to throw that out there. And it's something I've been thinking about lately with everything that's going on. So again, the title of the show is called How Big Are Your Problems to the Most High? I'm up late and I've been doing a lot of studying and I've been placing and creating, chopping, editing videos that you all need to see. There's so much information in the world right now that sometimes we try to get the information out and we tend to forget about what other people are going through. You understand? Like, there's so many different situations that we're talking about the situations, yet people are still going through their own little problems and situations. So... The most I put it in my heart to make this show called How Big Are Your Problems to the Most High? How big are your problems? There's people right now in California who are losing their homes and who have lost their homes to these northern California wildfires. Where the land is smithereens. You go right now on your phone and you'll see the photos are just insane. Now, we do know, those who are woken, that this whole agenda has been created by the government. They create these wildfires, and when you do the research, you, you'll think, you know, like, well, why would they create it? You know, well, for, well, I'll just say two reasons for the essence of time. 
well, this is going to be a long show anyway, but I don't want to go too far off on the subject, so I'll just give two reasons. The first reason is that uh, we live in the United States of America Corporation, as we know it. And in this corporation, as it has been for many years, it has been built on white supremacy. And with that being said, a lot of people, because of this term, if you will, have a lot of wealth, um, they have certain certain privileges and things like that. And a lot of people that have these statuses think that they will always remain the same. They think that, you know, times will not change for them. Well, that's completely different as we can see what's going on in the current news and what's been taking place before to lead to where we are and where it's going. What I mean by that is this shooting that took place in Vegas was at a country music festival where a lot of Caucasians were. I mean, it's it's just it's statistically proven number wise and then just common sense wise that a lot of black people or people of color don't really necessarily go to country music festivals, but a lot of them were killed. And a lot of black people have been killed. I mean, back to back to back on, on, on the road in car, you know what I mean? With the whole, all these cases with Sandra Bland and Philando and Trayvon, etc. We can go on and on for days. Dr. C B, Dick Gregory, etc. We could go on and on for days. But they they just killed a number of people. This event with Hurricane Harvey and this event with Irma and the event with this wildfire. A lot of people that live in Northern California are very, very wealthy. Out in that Napa Valley, Napa Valley era, I mean uh, area, they feel they have so much wealth over there. These people are losing businesses, their their homes, um, schools. I mean, acres and acres of land. And then just about no less than a month, maybe a little over a month ago, you had Southern California in uh, near parts of L.A. that had the most, I want to say it was the most uh, or the biggest wildfire in, in U.S. history, like over like some like 5,000 acres of land or something like that. All in all, I don't want to get too far off on that. So let me bounce back. Again, this is real TV. We keep it real. We keep it 100. So this is real TV. What I'm saying is, is that no matter what you're going through right now, your problems are small to the most high. All you have to do is pray and keep the faith and have just a little bit of patience and everything will be all right. I know it's Friday or it's Saturday now, but I know Friday just passed and maybe you had a problem with your check. Maybe that you had uh, it didn't come through. There was some money issues. Maybe you didn't have enough to pay your bills. Maybe you didn't have enough to go out tonight or get get enough food. Maybe there was something that you really wanted to do. Maybe you need to take that holiday, that that vacation that you were trying to go on and then things just didn't fall through. Or maybe you had plans to do such and such, but then something else came up and you had to fix your tire. You had to take care of your child, take care of your your husband, your wife. How big of our, our problems to the most high? How big are our problems? That's that's the question tonight. So, 
as a reference to give you a boost of better self-esteem. If you're going through something or if you're not going through something, it's always good to notice and get this refresh. Again, I was doing the studying tonight, and one thing led to another. You know, I'm, I'm tying in uh, part threes and part fours to this Las Vegas event, and then there's uh, there's other different things that's going on. You got some crazy cartoon now called Big Mouth that's just outright evil, outright evil. And the saddest part is that it's a cartoon. The saddest part is that it's a cartoon that children are going to want to watch. Yes, we as adults see this and we laugh and try to covet it for ourselves and be like, well, you know, only adults can watch this. No, 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 you can't watch this. So from a child mind, they're looking at mommy and daddy or uncle and auntie or cousin or who whoever it may be thinking like, you know, well, why can't why can't I watch this cartoon? It's a cartoon. That's what they're thinking in their in, in their mind. But you tell them, no, go to bed. They can't watch Family Guy. They can't watch American Guy, uh, Dad. But it looks cartoony. You know, they have uh, characters that talk like a baby. They may be walking through the living room and, and see a scene where you're like, no, no, I told you to go in your bed. I'm just getting something to drink or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We know how it was when we were growing up. The, the thing about it is worse now. Back then, we had Simpsons. It was bad then when it first started out, and it kind of smoothed it, smoothed it out just a little bit. They ironed out some of the kinks and toned it up a little bit. But now, you have shows like Adventure Time, where all they talk about is booty. You have Bob's Burger, where all they talk about is poop and booty. And this is what kids are watching. This is the generation that they're building. How big are your problems to the most high when these kids are being brainwashed? When you're at work and they're at home watching this. Or when you're asleep and they're up late punching in the codes to the internet to watch this. I don't know why I'm on cartoons right now. But that just that just crossed my mind because it bothers me. I saw a post on Facebook, a lot of comments, and I saw this picture of Big Mouth. I'm like, what is this? They're covering their private parts. What, what in the world are they talking about? I'm like, let me let me just check this out to see what's going on. I don't check this stuff out for entertainment purposes. I do it for y'all. I do it for people who don't know. I break it down so people can understand, and then I leave it alone. I move on. So I checked it out, and then it's just just crazy. If you've seen it, it's, you know what I'm talking about. It's just crazy. It's crazy. But they're making these cartoons for kids. Quote, unquote, Jewish kids. The Khazars, these, these devils that are putting their children under MK Ultra and all this pedophilia. They put their kids through all this trauma and stress and evil, and then they have them watch these cartoons as they're growing up, from infants to their teenage and adult life. And then they talk just as evil around them and do just as evil things around them. They're devils. They are not the real Jews. We are. We are, who are Hebrews, who are the true Israelites, the true Jews, and we who are righteous. Doesn't the scripture say that he that does righteousness is righteous? So this is just not for those just whose skins are black or brown. Because every skin that is black or brown is not going to make it. The two-thirds are not going to make it. And the two-thirds is an inclusion of those who have black and brown skin. The one-third that will make it into heaven, that will be with the Most High, are the chosen few that are 
the Most High's chosen people. And that includes many other races. It's not just going to be an all-black heaven, an all-Caucasian heaven, an all-Asian heaven. It's going to be diverse. It's going to be a, a very diverse place. So how big are your problems if you're going through something, if you're sick right now? Just know that you're going to get better. Everything's going to get well. And if you're that sick and something does pop up, where the health is so bad and it is your time to go, just know that there's a better place. All we got to do is live righteously. Those that live righteously and do things in righteousness are righteous. Find that scripture. Find that scripture and read it and know it. I don't know why I'm on that. I don't know why I'm on that. But but let me tie in and... um. Some scriptures. Let me tell you some scriptures that are going to help you understand why your problems are small. Your problems are like ants to the most high. Not even ants. Your problems are like atoms. Quartz. To the most high. Um, let's see. Let's see. All right. So we're going to, let me pull something up here on my slides here. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Job chapter 41, verses 1 through 9. If you want to read with me, you can. We're in Job. Chapter 41, verses 1 through 9. How big are your problems to the Most High? Canst thou draw out Leviathan within hook? Michael, who is Leviathan? When you look up Leviathan, you'll understand that Leviathan is a creature in the sea, a creature of the sea. A dragon, all right, like a Godzilla. Canst thou draw out Leviathan with an hook, or his tongue with the cord which thou lettest down? Canst thou put an hook into his nose, or bore his jaw with the thorn? I want you to think of something for for a moment. A hook into his nose. Or bore his jaw through with a thorn. These are small. These are like thumbtacks to a, to a leviathan. A creature of the sea. We're going to deal we're going to deal with it. Let me read on. Then we're going to deal with it. Will he make many supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Will thou take him for a servant forever? Will thou play with him as with a bird? Or wilt thou bind him for thy maidens? Shall thy companions make a banquet of him? Shall they part him among the merchants? Canst thou fill his skin with barbed irons, or his head with fish spears? Lay thy hand upon him. And and you can read on to read the rest. But all these things, hooks, nets, thorns, these are nothing to the creature of this sea. We're going to deal with it. Break it down. Follow me for a second. Follow me for a second. Tune in. Tune in. We're going to break it down. We're going to break it down. All right. Go to Psalm chapter 104, verse 26. Psalm chapter 104, verse 26. There go ships. There's that Leviathan. 
whom thou hast made to play therein. These are scriptures on Leviathan. Just, just, just stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're going to deal with it. Isaiah chapter 27, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 27, verse 1. In that day. Are you, are you there yet? Let's, let, I'll give you a little second. If you're riding in your car, I understand. Let me go ahead and go on. But if you're at home and, you, and you're in tune. Um, we're at Isaiah chapter 27, verse 1. In that day, the Lord with his sore and great strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent. Even Leviathan, that crooked serpent. And he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Now let's... Let's deal with that for just a second. Let's deal for, with that for just a second, okay? All right. So, Leviathan is a creature of the sea. He is a dragon that is in the sea. We've seen Harry Potter. No, we're not talking that, that small. You're not talking about the small dragons on Harry Potter. We've seen The Hobbit. We're not talking about the little dragon at the end of the movie that was full of gold. That that No, no, no. That's too small. We've seen Godzilla. No, no, no. That is too small. We've seen Reptar and Rugrats. That, we're not even going to go there. All right? We're not going to go there. All right. So the Lord with his sword and great strong sword. So we're going to stop right there. His sword is sore because he's punished Leviathan. He put, he probably chopped Leviathan up so much to get him into the sea. And, and don't you know, we, the world have, has never went to the greatest depths of the sea. And they're trying to. And then you got all these hydron colliders in Zurich, Switzerland. Trying to open up the doors to dark matter. Let me let me stay on let me stay on course. But his sword is sore and strong and great. Right? Now Let's now now when we talk about the size of Leviathan, he is a dragon that is in the sea. When you travel from New York to LA, that's about maybe give or take eight hours. That's a long flight from New York to LA. Leviathan is in the sea. The sea, the ocean is bigger than you than the United States. The ocean is bigger than Russia. The ocean is bigger than Antarctica. Is bigger than any continent on this earth. Leviathan is in the sea. So that if it takes eight hours to travel from New York to L.A. approximately. How far will it take to travel from, give or take, let's say the tip of China, all the way to um, L.A.? China to L.A., um, if you're going from... Uh, east to west. If you're going from L.A. to China, east to west, like all the way around the world, right? If it takes about 24 hours to two days just to get there, just think of the circumference of his body. It would take 24 hours to two days just to fly, the 
the, 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 the length of his body. Do you understand me? That's how big he is. You be like, Michael, what are you, what are you talking about? I, I need to understand a little bit more. All right, let's go to Isaiah chapter 66. In Isaiah chapter 66, 66 thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne. And the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? So if the earth is his footstool, and if Leviathan is in the sea, and if the earth is his footstool, then that means that his feet is bigger than the earth. You understand? His foot can squash the Leviathan. How big are your problems to the most high? How big are your bills to the most high? How big is your situation of being single to the most high when you really want to get married? How big is working out your relationship with your companion to the most high? How big is your health to the most high? How big is your home to the most high? When you realize that you are a child of Yahweh, you will understand that if he is for you, then who can be against you? Who who can be against you? If his if earth is his footstool, and if he could just prop his feet on earth, his his big toe can squash Leviathan. There's gonna come a day. When every knee shall bow, when every knee shall bow, all the trees, all the plants, all the animals, everything, everything, everyone, every creature, every living thing, every dead bone, every dead animal, all the dead bones going to kneel before him. When you go to Revelation chapter 6 verse 14. You'll notice how big the Most High is. And you'll have respect and fear for the Most High. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. So when we see that sky grow up like a scroll. And we see the countenance of the Most High thereof. Every knee will bow. Period. Period. You can read the rest of that scripture. How big is the most high? To your problems. How big are your problems to the most high? There's a scripture in Revelation chapter 1 verse 20. It reads, The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. And the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. So we understand here in this scripture that in the in the hand of Yahweh, in the hand of the Most High, um, is given the symbology of the seven churches in his hand. But when you take in consideration of the parable here. That he holds seven stars in his right hand. Stars from our point of view in the sky are little dots of white light. Of blue, of orange. Stars of different colors, right? As we know it. But those stars are galaxies. They look like dots, but they're huge. Those galaxies. So those we know that a galaxy consists of billions and trillions of stars. That are light years away. So these stars that we see are galaxies. So if he 
hold seven galaxies in his hand and seven golden candlesticks? How big are your problems to the most high? That is my question tonight. That is my question right now. When you go to Hebrews chapter 2 verse 7. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 7. You'll understand our position and you'll understand our blessing. You'll understand your blessing and you'll understand your position. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 7. Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor. And didst set him over the works of thy hands. We are over the works of this earth on this place that we live this entire planet is ours we are over this right but when it says that he made us a little lower than the angels we are grasshoppers compared to the angels when you go in genesis um, there's a chapter in Genesis that talks about how the giants, we were grasshoppers to the sizes of the giants. When the Most High made Adam and Eve, they were made in perfection. They were giants. They were huge. They were as tall as the mountains that we see. Tall as the mountains that we see. And, and, and the most perfect perfection. And the same with the angels. Well, you'll be like, well, why is Leviathan so big? Well, when heaven was made, heaven was made with perfection. When earth was made, it was made with perfection. When the angels were made, they were perfectly made. The Most High didn't have any intentions for sin, any intentions for death. So he made them the greatest that he could. And they were giants. It says that what? Satan, that old serpent. That devil, that dragon, Leviathan is what? A dragon that is in the sea. Satan fell down like lightning. To what? To earth. Him and his fallen angels. They were giants. They were huge. Satan is that dragon. Satan is that Leviathan, that Lucifer, that devil in the sea. It is what it is. There's no punchline to it. That's what it is. That's what it is. There's no parable, no symbology. It is literally a huge dragon about the size of this earth. How big are your problems to the most high? How big are your problems compared to these things that we are analyzing here and understanding here? We were made a little lower than the angels. We may be small in stature, but we're great with glory and honor. When you go to Philippians chapter 2, verses 10 through 11, you'll get more good scripture from the Most High. Knowing that every knee will bow when we see the countenance of His Holy Spirit, grace and in physical stature. How big are your problems to the most high? I, I I really want you to to answer that question to yourself. I really want you to let whatever it is go because you can't carry your burdens. You can't keep worrying about things with your feelings and your mind. It's gone now. It's done away with now. It's done now. You can't keep worrying about it. Worrying about it is not going to make it any better. There's a time to cry. There's a time to mourn. There's a time to be happy. A time to be upset. But you got to let it go. Maybe you need to, you need to take a walk tomorrow. Like literally take your shoes off. And go walking with your feet on the earth. Pray. Fast if you have to fast. Eat good if you have to eat good. I'm not talking about fried chicken. But if fried chicken calls for the occasion. Then that's what you need to eat. 
Just don't eat any pig, though. Don't eat no pork. Don't eat none of that swine. Leave that swine alone. But you know what I mean? Just let it go. Whatever it is that you're worrying about, give it to the most high. You can't carry your burdens. Let them do it. Why won't you? Don't you want them to carry your burdens for you? Knowing how big he is compared to us and that he created us and that we are his chosen and that we are his children. Wouldn't you take care of your children if they had a problem? Wouldn't you take care of your children if they came to you? Wouldn't you even take care of your children if they didn't come to you? Then how much more would the Most High do for you? That's my question. So with all this hate and evil in the world right now, I know they keep popping this situation with Harvey Weinstein, with and then you got Kevin Hart in The Mistress, and then you got the new show Raw on Netflix, and you got the new uh, 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 show Big Mouth on Netflix, and you have all these shows, all these worldly situations, Hurricane Ophelia, Ophelia going towards Europe, Tropical storms brewing up, earthquakes brewing up, rumors of wars. Maybe you had Obamacare, and then and then you just found out that Obamacare is being done away with now. You don't have insurance for your autistic child now. You just had a baby, and, and now you got to pay all this money out the pocket. Don't worry about it. Let it go. I'm not saying don't pay your bills, but there's a way to pay your bills if you do the research. Accept it for value, return for value. We're all bought with bonds. Our monetary system isn't backed by gold or silver. It isn't backed by anything. We the people are the human resource energy. But I'm not going to get too into, into that. They lie. they lie. They lie to us about what's going on. The devil is lying to you about what's going on in your life. He's telling you that these problems are big, that you do need more money, that you do need a, a, a husband, that you do need a wife, that you do need to get out of the situation. We understand that, but you got to give it to Yahweh. He's going to help you. I know what you feel like. We all have those days. We all have those days. Sometimes when we have a little bit of those days, it seems like a whole lot. Sometimes when we get a little bit, it seems like a whole lot. Like we get everything was going good for like the whole amount of this certain X amount of time. And now that we got this little situation, it seems like a whole lot. Now that we got, now that we got this less situation, it seems like more. Now that we seem, you know what I mean? Less is more. I'll be right back. Less is more. So blissful, so natural, so natural, so wonderful. On a day like this. incredible make me want to go outside and take my shoes take a walk on the pavement take my shoes on the grass and just look at the clouds above and look at the ground around me listen to the birds look at the bees sit on the bench look at the trees think about life and think about the things that I need to do the things that I want to do I got plans and things that I'm going to do. No more of what it should have could have. I'm about to do it. I got to do it. A mountain high I got to climb. I'm on the top now. I want to help others now. I 
I wanna help others now. Less is more. But less is more. Is what the world portrays, but that's a wrong lie. That's a wrong lie. That less is more. That less is more. I need more people on this side of life. I need more people that I can relate to. I need more people that I can social with about these conversations that I've been learning about, though. Some people don't get it. A lot of people won't get it. And that's the sad part. Less is more. Less is more. In a world full of lies, less is more. In a world full of lies, less is more. Concrete pavement. I want to take my shoes off and walk on the grass. A lot on my mind. I need to sit down. I need to walk around. Sun shining. Matter of fact, it's a gloomy day. Clouds out. Out on this rainy day. Perfect time for a lovely walk out. On the sidewalk. Concrete pavement. I need to talk about my feelings But it's hard when I'm talking feelings So I'm quiet, less is more Now I'm quiet, cause less is more In this world full of lies, less is more Concrete pavement I just need to take a walk on the grass Lied on my mind, less is more, can't talk right now, cause less is more. And we're back, Michael Israel here. So, that song, by the way, guys, was a freestyle that I made in the earlier part of this year. I had a friend of mine who I sent a request to for instrumentals for this podcast and I initially asked for radio instrumentals and intro intros and I I received a whole collection of different masterpieces back in my earlier days I used to rap a little bit and I had a whole total total different style how I did it cursing and talking about money and women and stuff like that you know how it goes and um, I had a <clears throat> change in my life, and um, I shunned away from rap altogether during that time. And uh, I don't want to go too far off into my life story for this episode. I may make a show called Life Story one day, I don't know. I talked about it previously a little bit on 20 Questions. You go back and uh, rewatch that. And there's some other shows, like one of my very first shows, I talk a little bit about it. But I don't want to go too far off on the deep end. But um, it was it was a freestyle. It was a freestyle. Um, while listening to the beats, I was just kind of like making a little melody over it. I wasn't writing or anything. I was really feeling the beast, and I became really emotional over it. And I was just like, man, I was just letting it go. And next thing you know, I just like, you know, just started recording, and uh, it was one take. I recorded like a full album in one take, each song. It was it was like nineteen songs in about thirty minutes, thirty thirty five minutes. Every song was one take, and. Um, the first album was called Freestyle the Album Part 1. And then I did a Part 2, like a 17-part album. Uh, it's not for release or anything, but that's just how it went. So that's that song. It's called Less Is More. But to soften up some of the sorrows and make you smile a little bit and make you wonder about all this craziness that's going on a little bit I do want to share with you um, some of the articles that I uh, 
ended up finding here is just a lot of insane things that are continually going on in this evil world. So if you haven't heard of these, um, we're going to talk about it here. And you may have heard of them, but not on the mainstream news. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm getting these in fresh. Uh, so, I'm going to read them as is. And uh, we'll go ahead and start this off. I'm, I'm, I'm proofreading this. i uh, briefly reading this first one here. And, oh, my goodness. It is crazy. So, not on the mainstream news. Before we get started, y'all already know how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so again, not on the mainstream news, coming from the Silicon Republic, the hidden security loophole in Bluetooth connected sex toys. Oh my goodness, can you believe this? So, they have, first of all, why is there a Bluetooth connection to sex toys? They call it BLE Enabled Devices. For use on the body. BLE means Bluetooth Low Energy Frequency. So, um, long story short here. Long story short. I know that Medea Halloween uh, thing coming up. I know (laughs) y'all. I know y'all gonna plan to see that. But, uh, oh my goodness. I don't even want to watch that. But for research purposes, I'm I'm gonna check it out. But let me stay back on topic. They have Bluetooth connections to dildos now. And what's happening is, is that people are hacking into them via the sound waves. So it says here, I'm going to read a portion of it because this is way, way out there. Um, I mentioned where this article came from, and I'm and you could type this up and find it on your own. So I'm not going to read it all because it's very, very vulgar. BLE is the little brother of Bluetooth connectivity. It consumes less power than traditional Bluetooth would, which means it is used in lots of devices that can run on battery for several years at a time when minimal data exchange is required. BLE is ubiquitous in many um, devices that people are using day to day from light bulbs and thermostats to watches while being useful uh, in advancement in technology Um, so again long story short they have these uh, vices uh, devices connected to Bluetooth and people are hacking into them. Uh, it's, it's crazy. All right. Coming from the Washington Post, a woman finally gets a monumental tribute on the mall. She's naked. So this is in Washington, D.C. This is a little dated, but there's a lot been going on. People still talking about Kanika Jenkins and we got all the other situations in the news with the shootings and things like that. We couldn't really talk about it. But D.C. May the Most High bless the victims and help those workers in that ambulance there. Those who are on the way. Um, pardon that. Uh, so... Long story short, they got a naked statue that's in D.C. facing the obelisk. The obelisk is um, a penal structure, a genitalia of the male bull that is erected from Egypt that has been reconstructed all over the United States and other parts of the world. Paying homage to the male genitalia. Obelisk, obelisk 
you break it down, Ah Bell, 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 Bob, Bella, Belzebub, Bile, the devil, Satan, same thing. They're paying homage to this, excuse me, to this genitalia here, which is insane. And the woman is facing it. This 40-foot statue of naked woman um, is also related to the sculpture that presides over the Burning Man. So that whole Burning Man ritual that they had going on coincides with this. All right, so there's not too much more to say about that than what it is. South Korea has seized 8,500 pills made from flesh of aborted fetuses or stillborn babies in three years. The human flesh used for the pills is thought to have been taken from either aborted or stillborn babies. Though the numbers have come down in the past years, opposition lawmaker in South Korea said that the illegal smuggling is still taking place. Ah, oh, man. We're, we're not, I'm not surprised about this. They have a movie, again, called Dumplings, um, that just came out not too long ago about the, uh, Asian culture, eating babies and stuff. They put the stuff in, in, in meta, medical products and beauty products and things like that. Um, <laughs> dang, it's, it's in your 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 uh, Mountain Dew and Pepsi. There's a company called Cinemix that uh, is a company that builds artificial flavorings. And they sell these artificial flavorings to major name brand companies. To put it in your favorite foods and things like that. So, um, yeah. Um, let's see here. I know we could find some, uh, really good ones here. Okay, so, Pizza Hut, by the way, if, if for those who like Pizza Hut and the uh, and th for those who don't, you may find this interesting, especially for the this fall season and, and upcoming winter. It's going to be a very, very cold, cool and cold winter, according to the Farmers' Avalanche of 2018, by the way. Um, so this coat may be for you. It may just be for me also. It looks pretty cool, that's for sure. So Pizza Hut has a history of a weird new products that are tragically just concepts Announced as a stunt. Well, guess what? Sorry, but not sorry. It's not a stunt. This concept um, introduces a parka made of insulating material that uh, lines their delivery pouches. So Pizza Hut has come out with fast food gear or this jacket called red hot and basically it's an apparel that keeps you warm uh during the impending winters so i hope they patent put a patent on this product because i can clearly see north face and columbia and uh pentagonia and all them coming out with this as their uh different phases for this project it's definitely a pretty cool concept that Pizza Hut is using their delivery pouch material on these jackets. I, I find that just straight genius. I think more companies should have like minds and great minds who think of more inventions like this for the world as we know it. So the Bunny Ranch is aiming to have sex bots available by 2019. That's like... Next week, it's going to be 2018 and, and what, two months? So, it says here, the Moonlight Bunny Ranch and a half a dozen other legal brothels is set on sex spots working alongside his human sex workers. 
Wow. Wow. Then again, I mean, they put out all these movies. Lucy, Under the Skin. We could go on and name more. We can't be too surprised about this. They had this technology in the 20s and the 30s and 50s. and I mean, this has been out for years, for centuries. Um, so we, we can't be too surprised on this one. We can't be too surprised. There's <laughs> demons and devils living among us in human skin. Literally. And we can't detect it. So I wouldn't be surprised with these bots. That's what it all leads to anyway. That's what it all leads to. You got, I mean, I don't, I don't mean to be pla- uh, 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 vulgar, but you have plastic adult toys. And then you have plastic toys with batteries. And then things that you could plug in. I mean, you see what I'm saying? It's all going to technology. It's all going to artificial intelligence. Well, why artificial intelligence? Because all a demon need is a body. All they need is a, a skin. They don't even need a body. All they need is some skin, and they'll hop in that skin. That's and only th- that's why they say the eyes are the windows to the soul, because they hopping in skin. And the only thing that you can see of them is the eyes for the most part. And let's say they're having transforming issues, and you may see their fangs. But all these demons need is a body. That's why is 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 forming to this artificial intelligence thing. Yeah, they could use humans. Yeah, they could use animals and what have you. But it's completely much easier for them to just hop in a Barbie doll, for them to hop in a, a robot, for them to hop in a Furby. You you understand? So um. That's that. That's that. And again, you know, like I said, this was going to be a long show. We're, we're, we're just a little over an hour now. It is a little late. It's going on 2.53 a.m. Eastern Standard Time now. So we, we did a, a, a good hour. And I hope you enjoyed the show. I know it's a little late. If you stayed up late with me to check this out, I thank you. I appreciate it. And again, if you're just tuning in to Real TV um, for your first time, thank you for joining. Um, if you haven't subscribed, why not? Also, um, there is free download available on Spreaker.com. Please support the cause, the mission. Um, I'm doing this for the most high. It's not for any monetary gain. I do all this for non-monetization. So, I mean, I'm putting in hours of 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 this to get this truth out. I'm putting my life on the line to put this truth out. And, you know, I mean, I love y'all. So, I mean, like I always say, silence is betrayal. If you know the truth and don't say the truth, then the blood is on your hands. The blood is on your hands. So... I give this baton to you to pass it on to someone else who needs it. The whole world needs it. So you got a lot of work to do. The whole world needs it. So, um, yeah. Um, subscribe to Spreaker, please. I would appreciate it. I want to move from YouTube to there. And from there to my own website. That's the transition. So I would uh, uh, strongly appreciate the support. If you're listening to this now. Um, It it would mean a lot. It would would truly mean a lot. YouTube is is, uh, taking over by the Khazars. And it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same. They're, They're shutting down channels. They're shutting down shows. I'm already three strikes in. One more thing. And that's a wrap with YouTube. They're going to, uh, they could possibly take down my whole channel. So all the work that I put in, I mean, I put in, I put in 
it's it's not easy to do, y'all. It's really not easy to do. And if you think it's easy, I challenge you to do it. I challenge you to do it. I challenge you. It's a big set of shoes to fill. Not mine, but the job itself. And again, I just want to thank you for joining Real TV. Stay tuned for the next show. There's a lot much more to see. One love. Stay prayed up. Keep the most high first. Keep the most high first. And of all, the greatest is to love thy neighbor. Every day we just got to try to do better. So how big are your problems to the most high? Don't worry about it. It'll be better. Thank you for joining Real TV by Michael Israel. Thank you for joining the Michael Israel Show. Real TV. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Free download is available. Thank you for joining Real TV, where silence is betrayal. If you know the truth and don't say the truth, then the blood is on your hands. Free downloads are available. Stay tuned for the rest of the show. Enjoy the show.